Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I conclude my first look miniseries on Abaddon 3, The Warborn. If you guys enjoyed this first look and, well, you want to see more, go check out Colonel RPG and his full LP. The annotation's going to be up here. We'll send you right over there. You guys can check it out. And the good news for me is, as soon as this video is done, I am now free to watch. That's right. I, too, will be watching all the Colonel has to offer when it comes to the world of Avedon. And speaking of the world of Avedon, yet another great segue. I know. Anyway, speaking of Avedon, guys and gals, if you are a fan of what you see here and maybe you have the first game and you're playing through and you want to eventually get two and three, now's the time to go grab episode two or Avedon two, as it were, because... Why? 70% off on Steam. You guys can go grab it for 70% off. Very, very, very cheap. And, well, grab it and add it to your collection. So, I think I got for both of the first two games on sale at one time or another. So, it's really good to grab these up when they go on sale. It's also good to grab them up when they're not. They're not overly expensive or anything like that. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to start playing. And let's begin. Botan, let us speak. You meet another hand of Avedon. This young shadow walker sits cross-legged, or cross-legged, by the fire sharpening his sword. He is still dirty from the road. He is very young. You were older when you began your training than he is now, but he already has the calm, tired demeanor of an experienced campaigner. In the age of chaos, two factions battled... Oh, sorry. Uh, in the age of chaos, when war has spread to every corner of the known lands, soldiers get jaded fast. He looks up at you and frowns. I don't know you, but you are a hand. Are you Hammy? You nod. I am Botan. Commander Cher uh, Cerise, I always want to call her Cherise, I don't know why. Commander uh, Cerise has told me to find you. Cerise said you would come. He sets his blade to the side and motions for you to sit. He takes a sip of ale from one of the nearby bottles and motions for you to join him if you wish. She has given me her guidance. You may choose me or Nathalie, or Nathalie to help. He nods at a sorceress sitting by a nearby fire. Huh. This work will be refreshing change. Uh-huh. What do you think of her guidance? She is not a hand. We don't have to do what she says. However, I will happily take her advice if I think it is wise. Right now, it is wise. Opening up the laboratory might be a very wise idea. He doesn't elaborate. Why is it a refreshing change? I would prefer to spend some time killing things that aren't begging me for mercy. It is more peaceful. So you're a Hand of Abaddon. I am. Trained and tested in the field. How long have you been a Hand? He confidently meets your gaze. Not long. A little less than two years. I came to Abaddon after Redbeard was thrown out. A Acting Keeper Protus selected me himself. Do not let my age concern you. I am fully trained and tested in the field. And where have you served? Everywhere. I was based in Abaddon, and Keeper Protus used the portals to send me wherever assassinations, wherever assassination was required. I worked very hard, then I was granted a brief rest period. Then I was diverted. Diverted? I had completed a mission, and my commander told me to come here. I'm not sure why. I am here now and eager to help. Hmm... Uh, what can you do for me? I am a shadow walker. I use my tools and weapons in battle. I am trained as an assassin. I slip in and kill quickly. If trapped, I escape and strike from smoke and shadows. Botan lifts his tunic. He wears armor underneath it. I do not shrink from a fight. However, I can't withstand direct battle as well as the Blade Masters can. If Cerise offers you my aid and you wish it, please come tell me. Alright, that's all I need for now. All right, I suspect I will be stationed here for some time. I think we will have time to speak later. For now, I sense that things are about to become very hectic. Before you can ask him to elaborate, he grabs a razor disc and sharpening stone and returns to work. The two new hands are in your roster. You can change their inventory when you're in an Abaddon base. Now that you have spoken with them, you return to Commander Cerise. Conversation ends. All right, interesting stuff, folks. I gotta say, I don't know what's going on, but today I woke up and my nose is just completely, it's just completely stuffy. I'm super stuffy today, so I apologize if I sound any different or anything like that. Just I can't, 
can't really breathe through my nose or anything. It's just, it's, I don't know. I feel nasally. I feel like I, I, I feel like I sound like this. But I, I know I don't. Not quite that bad anyway. All right, we get some coins over here. A robe, interesting. Like pants for your chest. All right, a tunic. A leather belt. And there's also a bowl, a random bowl just sitting there. That's cool. All right, let's see. G, there's some scales, some weights, and other various random things nobody cares about. Really a whole bunch of just stuff. Ooh, there's meat. I'm going to totally steal that. The wine doesn't seem to be that useful. Um, there's an abacus. Aw, uh, we can't take, like, the outhouse with us? Aw, uh, we can't take the catapult either? These are all very depressing and sad things. Alright, so both of these guys are now technically in my roster, and I can use them as I wish. Oh, there's all sorts of additional things laying on the ground here that are all amazing and super good. So, what are we going to do? We're going to move some stuff down and out of the way. We're going to put you on the hot bar there. Move that over here. A leather belt. Do we have? We do not have a belt, right? We do now. Surprise! Alright, we don't need another tunic. Uh, I'm not a caster, so I don't need that. Uh, well, let's grab that. An iron short sword. You can never have too many of those, I suppose. Um, an iron razor disc. It's not what I'm using right now. It is what I'm using right now. Cool. Okay, sure, something like that. Alright, and we can play with her inventory, they said. She has that exact thing that I have. Hmm. That is interesting. Okay, and what about you, sir? I can get you better equipment than what you have. Alright, so does that mean that I need to... There's no way to, like, swap between characters? No. So I'm really gonna have to drop the stuff on the ground. Uh, chances are the tunic is not as good as what's already being used. He doesn't have any pantalones. No adventure should ever be... Without a nice, freshly laundered pair of pants. So I guess I'll put that on the ground. I'll put the tunic on the ground. I'll put the cloak on the ground. And I guess I'll put the wine on the ground as well. Alright, so we'll see how this all plays out. I don't know that we need to put anything else on the ground just yet. It's also a sage's rod. I don't know if that's better than what we have, or the same, or what the case is. But we'll figure it out. Alright, let's go and pick up stuff with you, sir. You already have the iron shorts, short sword, so you don't need that. Pants are probably important for you. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, you have 15 armor with your jerkin, so we don't need to remove your jerkin. Eh, eh. The cloak, I guess we'll put that on you. I... There you go, you can have the cloak. What does that do? Plus three armor, alright. And yeah, we'll throw these things into your inventory, because why not? I think we're going to end up using him, because I don't know how we stack up in a, like a melee combat. He's not great, but he might be okay-ish, so... We'll just have to wait and see. Additionally, I think there was one place I did not try to enter, and I think it was over here. I was watching this when I was doing the, uh, I was rendering my second video. I don't know if I ever tried this door or not, so we're going to try it now. The guard stops you when you try to enter the workshop. I am sorry, Hand Commander Cerise doesn't want you to enter until she has spoken with you. Oh, and she wants to speak with you. The guard isn't a hand. You could easily shove him aside, but you decide not to cause any trouble. That's probably where we're going to end up being forced to head, so. Well, let's go talk to Cerise and see where she puts us. Yawn. The Chimera is active. Uh, okay, all that stuff. You seem ill at ease. Guidance, blah, blah, blah. I have spoken to both uh, Nathalie and uh, Botan. Cerise nods. Thank you, I appreciate the effort. Now then, the message from Avedon was fairly simple. They want something. It seems like a simple thing, but that does not reassure me. Okay, what does Avedon want? They asked me to make sure that our magical workshop is open and cleaned out. It currently is not. This is Abaddon's fort, so I'd rather send hands in there. Might be secrets, after all. 
I will have it unlocked for you. If you want to go, or if you want to please your true masters, I would go in there and clear out any stray pests still alive in there. Uh, we have a magical workshop? Of course, all Abaddon outposts have them. It's been sealed up for a few years, but I've always known it would be needed, or it would need to be cleaned up eventually. Why was it sealed up? One of Abaddon's eyes went in there about ten years ago to do some experiment or other. Uh, there was an explosion, then screams, then monsters. You know how those things go. Redbeard's protocols were very clear in this, or in that case. We seal it up. Now it has been unsealed. Can I keep anything I find? Cerise shrugs. Eh, why not? It's your fort. And can anyone help me? Botan and Nathalie are at your disposal. They don't have much to do. One of them can help you clean out the place. When you enter the workshop, you will be allowed to form your party. You can choose who will accompany you then. Alright, that's all for now. Let's go get into combat. Not pretty excited. I'm sure all of you are as well. Uh, I think there's still one or two more folks I'd like to talk to before we end it. Um, or before we go in there. We didn't go all the way down here yet. We have a tradesman and a nightshade guard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's talk to you. It's Trader Aye! This woman is neither a soldier nor servant of Avedon, very unusual for this camp. She is a merchant, standing by her wagon eager to trade. Two guards stand nearby, bored. There are no thieves here. You know well, or you know, you know her well, she is Trader I.E., the only traveling merchant who brings goods from the outside world to this remote camp. She waves you over, pointing proudly at the goods arranged on the blankets before you. Greetings, Hammy, or greetings, Hammy. It is an exciting time, is it not? Best to buy a few luxuries before you head out to fight. Any news from the road? Some. I hear things uh, as I travel. The Chimerians are still defiant, though they are able to field an army. They are only able to field an army to the west. The Wild Realm? Sure. The Wild Realm uh, rebels are exhausted, but they show no signs of surrendering. How are the conditions on the road? Very dangerous. I stick to the free roads, and then only when I am... Far from the lands of the Wild Realm uh, Rebels. Alright, I have another question. Uh, where do you get your supplies from? All over. It is a time of war. There are always desperate people willing to sell. Also poor peasants offering the arms they scavenge from the battlefields. I buy things and bring them to you. This camp contains my best customers. Don't you worry about where the goods you sell come from? Of course. I never buy anything when I'm sure it would hurt my honor. Yet, how can I know... Uh, if someone sells a sword, who knows where it came from? Who owned it? If the owner is dead, uh, well, I do what I can, but there are limits. There anything you're looking for you can't get? So many things. The biggest loss is the herbs that grow only in Camaria. To sell those, I need to find a source and get permission from a hand to trade with the Farlands. I would pay well for assistance if only someone could spare the effort. She looks at you slyly. Well, good luck with that. Maybe I can help you. I had hoped that you would offer. I hear you may be traveling up to Camaria soon. Just a rumor. If you go to Vanatok's stead, I have heard there is a shaman there, a young shaman, a skilled herbalist, studying arts the Camarians reject. Uh, if she would agree to sell her herbs, I would reward you for the efforts. Tell me about the shaman. I work in a world of rumors and vagueness. If I knew more, I would tell you. Well, why do you need my permission? Stone wall beyond. We can't do anything to help the Farlands, especially in this time of war. I wouldn't risk it, not unless a hand made sure to vouch for me. Alright, I have another question. Uh, I want to trade with you. I am pleased to assist Avedon. Let me see your wares. Oh, you have some cool stuff. I don't have a lot of money, but yeah. Ooh, lockpicks. Look at that. Eh? That's expensive as all get out. Buying it. And I guess some leather... I don't know what to buy! Do I want to get a shield? I don't think... I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Alright, uh, I don't need anything else. Conversation ends. We're going to open up our... Oh, Trader Eyes Herbs. You met a merchant named Trader Ai in Camp Nightshade. She asked for your assistance. There is a supposed... There is, sorry, there is supposedly a shaman in Vanatok's stead who runs a highly efficient herb farm. I.e. asked you to try to arrange a trading deal between her and this unnamed Camarian. Okay, sorry guys, that is such a difficult font to read. 
Alrighty, we do not have boots, so I can get some boots. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna sell, you buy and sell? Good, I'm gonna trade with you. And I'm going to sell you something. I'm going to sell you this. I'm going to sell you this. And I think that might be uh, all this. Oh, wait, 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 what? These are my junk bag. Oh no, that's on the floor. Never mind. Never mind. Is it? Junk bag is now empty. I, I don't know. It's fine. All right. Uh, let me see your wares. I would like to get. We have fifty-four. <laughs> leather greaves, plus eight armor, leather boots. Uh, greaves? They're pants though, aren't they? Yeah, I think we have leather greaves. Never mind then. Uh, we don't have a lamp or a candle. Doesn't seem to be super expensive to get one of those either. Alright, we're gonna buy a lamp just on the off chance that we need it for anything. Alright, that's it. Let's go put our boots on. And there it is. And we'll even throw the candle down here. Or sorry, the lantern down there. Alright, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to go and meet our destiny, or start fighting things inside of a place. So, there's that. Alright, I am fairly certain that I'm going to be bringing... Uh, I thought they said that I would get to choose my roster. Huh. Neat. That's cool. Ah, right, whatever. I'm here. Ah, there we go. I'm like, I'm here. Nobody's coming to join me. And unfortunately, we can't bring both, right? Alright, that's fine. I'll take you with me, Botan. Let's go, buddy. Let's go see what we can do. You enter the workshop for the first time. A proper magical laboratory is an expensive, required opponent for all proper Avedon outposts. This one, alas, is kind of in ruins. You've only heard rumors of what went wrong. It happened over ten years ago. Involved a hands exuberant experiment gone wrong. And resulted in something unpleasant nobody wants to talk about. The air is still silent and icy cold. The place seems unoccupied. This job might be easy. Uh, you are about to be attacked by a few pests. When they approach you, the game will enter combat mode. And you will learn how to fight. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem like there's anything here for us. Can we open this door? Nope. We can't open that door, however, though. That's cool. How to attack. To attack this foe, select the space it is standing in. Okay, simple enough. There are old frost-rimmed bones on the floor in the hall to the north. Human bones. This is already unnerving. Then some of the bones start to move. They rise slowly from the floor and lurch towards you. You are relieved to know that your time isn't being wasted. These workshops were sealed up for a good reason. To attack the foe, select the space it is standing in. Oh, they just like rolled right out on top of me. That's interesting. Alright, so... We have crumbly bones and things that we're going to have to attack. We're going to walk away, and then we're going to shoot this guy from a distance. And, of course, like a boss, we took him out. I don't know that I want to actually attack attack you. We have an ability here. What is it? Healing focus heals damage the Shadow Walker has suffered. And then we also have Mighty Blow. Can we drag those down here? Oh, we totally can. That's cool. I wasn't sure that we could do that. Alright, he's got a missile weapon as well, so we're going to use that. Take you out of the fight. Oh, get wrecked. Alright. And we're going to go take a peek over here real quick. What do we have? Charge weapons doubles your attack damage for several turns based on intelligence. Okay. And then what's our final skill over here? Build Bolt Flinger. Oh, that sounds awesome. Okay, so stuff. Well, doesn't matter. This is easy enough right now. Alright, simple and easy. Looks like a bunch of stuff fell to the ground here. Some chain mail. There's a silver necklace. A bunch of skulls. Bones. 
and other various things. Alright, I think we're done with combat. We can end it with F. I'm going to actually rearrange my stuff. Because I would prefer to have my uh, abilities actually over here. So the first ability is going to be the Bolt Flinger, because that just sounds sick and awesome. I'm going to charge a weapon. I'm probably going to end up... What do we have? No trash, anything important? Nope. I think what I'm going to end up doing is maybe build a Bolt Flinger right there. And then we can pull people back into it. Because so that's supposed to be one of our skills. But apparently that was not the play. The presence of undead is a clear indication that some sort of dangerous magic is in place. Your job now is to find the source and remove it. It's probably a good idea to save the game. Press the disk button or type Control S to access the save game window. You can also press F3 to make a quick save file and press F4 to load your quick save file. Boy, that sounds dangerous. They're usually separated like F4 and F8 or something like that. Or F5 and F8. Uh, finally, Abaddon 3 will occasionally make a backup saved game for you. It will be called Auto Save on the load game window. Cool. Alright, we'll use F3. Game is saved. Alright, what's over here? Uh, there's a dagger. Might as well pick that up. Some limbs. It's still damp and twitching slightly. Ew. Alright, we got some coins, we got some more coins, and a leather belt because of reasons. I'm going to actually put the leather belt back down, and I'm going to try to open your mad skills all up in a mad abundance. How do you end up with a silver necklace? I do not like that. You do not get to hold on to that. That is mine, sir. That is mine. You can wear the belt, however. In fact, all of these things are mine. You don't get any of it. It's all mine. I did like how they all plopped down on the ground, though. I thought that was kind of cool. Alright, yes, I will take you, I will take you, I will take you, I will take you as well. And what are we going to do now? Nobody knows. I can rebuild my bolt flinger. So that makes me a little bit happy. Um, okay. Let's open the door. Door seems to be locked. I've opened the door and closed it a bunch of times. Bolt Flinger is not doing me very much good where I'm putting it. It's a little saddening to be sure. Uh, broken pots are on the ground. Lots some cool stuff in here. Herbs and whatnot, or at least it looks like there's herbs. What's around the corner? Aha! Booger containers. Man, these guys really knew how to pick their noses, let me tell you. Aha! We have found ourselves something to do. The Bolt Flinger of Doom. Get wrecked! Yes! It's so good. Alright, is that it? Nope, there's still more coming. Alright, we'll just chill. How do we... I don't remember. How do you end the combat? Space bar. You hear squeaking and scuttling nearby. The sounds of smashing bone have drawn other predators out of the ruins. Oh, there's rats. Hi, guys. <laughs> Y'all bilge rats. No, they're huge rats, actually. You get the idea. They're all huge and dead rats, though. I mean, we kind of did some work there. I, you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. Alright, what do we have on the ground? A whole lot of nothing. Well, I gotta say, I am a fan of my bolt flinger. Alright, what's in the fridge? A trowel, some bedpans, and a bottle of ink. I know those weren't, that wasn't a bedpan. Ooh, what's over here? A shiny table of doom. Ah, uh, there's some leather shoes and some pants. How do the shoes stack up to the boots? The boots are clearly better. What is this thing? A scalpel. Alright, sir, why don't you put the shoes on yourself? Good, sir. Oh, oh if we, okay, if we hit the, the tab button, that's fine. Alright. Oh, is there a candle? There is. You don't know take candle. Alright, so we have the candle if we need it. What was that? There was a stick on the ground there for a second. It's a broom. It's the broom! It's over here. Some leather gloves. 
some bandages. That's that's a good thing, right? And a comb. And a fine tunic, which is actually better than my regular tunic. Gotta say, I am a fan. Alright, coins, and we're gonna switch over to you, good sir. And you can take that and that. And then you can wear the gloves. And you can even have the bandages if you so desire to have them. What is that? Why is there a leather belt laying on the ground? Alright, I think we're going to add some stuff to the junk bag here because I feel like none of these things are useful and we're running out of room pretty rapidly. Also, we have three buckets of water. You would think that that would be pretty good for certain things, but nope, doesn't seem to be. Don't need a towel or a blanket anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure if we need any of this random stuff that we have, but we have it, and that's kind of important, I guess. Alright, back on to the ground, the leather belt. I know we don't need it right now, but might as well have it. We can always add it to our other compatriot. And we're coming up to the end of our time here, but we're not there just yet. Alright, hams, let's get that bolt flinger going. Alright, the failed necromancer. Abaddon's training is thorough. As soon as you saw the skeletons, you knew that there must be some nearby magic fueling them. You found it. In the middle of this magic circle, there is a withered, frozen body. A shade floats over it. When you get close, the insubstantial figure turns to look at you. It seems perplexed. Ah, my experiment it is failing. You have disrupted it so long, and I fail. I am angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Botan already has his hand on his blade. Well, at least we aren't killing someone alive, he mutters. What sort of experiment were you doing? It was a bit of minor practical necromancy. We have few defenses. I thought the bodies of attackers would help. My work was almost complete. Necromancy explains a lot. That stuff never works out. Well, necromancy is a mistake. What? Mistake? I am a hand of Avedon. We do not make mistakes. Now hold still. I need more materials. The shade floats towards you. The arms outstretched. The passage becomes very cold. Oh my god, he gonna kill me? Also, we're gonna shoot him with things, and it's gonna be painful. Your attack passes through the shade, tearing and disrupting the delicate tissue of magic that holds it together. The shade wavers angrily. You fool! I lied. My experiment was a success. Now you will face the full might of my powerful wrath. There are several cauldrons nearby, full of bubbling goop. The slime brings or begins to steam and hiss. Gross figures rise from it. Well, that can't be good. Ow! All right, well, unfortunately, you're not going to be alive for very much longer, so there's that. What was the button to W to switch? I'm going to go with our mighty blow. Mighty blow! Your final attack tears the shade in two. It howls and fades away. All that is left are a few disgusting bodies. Uh, another job for Camp Nightshade's uh, custodial crew. You can report back to Cerise. The camp now has a workable workshop. Workable workshop! You need, <laughs> he wondered why it was suddenly needed. Well, we're not 100% done just yet. We're close, but we're not there just yet. Alright, we're going to switch back to our other weapon. And we're going to wait. Let our creatures come to us. With their creature, com creature comforts? I, that's fine. going to wait. Yes, please shoot him with pain. And end him with your amazing awesomeness. And there it is. That should be all the combat that we needed. And I gotta say, I am a massive, ma ooh, a lovely crystal. I am a massive, massive fan of my amazing item that I have over there. It's actually quite good. The bolt flinger, big fan. Incense, looks like it's worth something. A dagger and robe, eh. Ooh, there's some imp skin gloves. And a mop. Well, I, that's kind of cool, I suppose. Alright, what else do we have? 
weapon racks available to us. There's a hammer and a bucket and some tongs and just blacksmithing tools in general. You can't use this forge until you find a rune stone. Well, that's disappointing. Well, it looks like we've done all that we can do. And, well, as exciting as all this has been, I think that's pretty much it. I want to go check out those imp skin gloves, but we're going to head back to Cerise. I know it's about the end of the episode, guys and gals. I am aware, but I would like to see how this all plays out. All right, the leather gloves give us a 2% increase to armor. The imp skin gloves give us an increase to magical damage and additional armor. We're not really using magic, so I feel like it's probably not worth it for us to utilize it. So we'll put it on our uh, good good pal Nathalie and see if she can't use it, which she should be able to. And it will be best used and best served used there and stuff and served and used and it's great. Alright, back to the commander and I guess that'll be our victory. Keep alert! Things are happening! I guess we left our uh, compatriot behind. I'm fine with that. Alright. Uh, the pests in the workshop are dead. You tell Cerise the tale of your brief adventure. She nods, but she is more nervous than before. Good. Things are moving very quickly. While you were inside, two more envoys from Avedon came. She points out a scroll on her desk. It bears the wax seal of Avedon, still unopened. That arrived with the envoys. I dread opening it. While I prepare, I have more guidance for you. And what's that guidance? There are new visitors from Avedon. One is a hand, a woman named Kalida, and the other is an eye, an old sage named Nicodemus. Somewhat disconnected. All he wanted was to make sure the magical workshop was free of monsters. They asked to meet all hands in the camp. I need a moment to think. Please go and see them. Uh, what was in the scroll from Avedon? I have not opened it yet. I suspect once I do, my life will be very different. I will read it soon. Where is Kalida? In the camp outside, where you met Nathalie and uh, Botan. Her temper is short and her journey has been long. Also, she seems... confused? Just warning you. And where is Nicodemus? He is old and tired from the road, and he wanted only to begin to set up shop in the magical workshop. The one you just disinfected. You will probably find him there. Alright, that's all for now, and that is all for this first look video, ladies and gentlemen. I've had a blast covering this. I'm so glad I was able to showcase it on the channel. Once again, I'm going to remind you guys, if you want to see the full LP, go check out Colonel RPG's channel and his full Let's Play. The annotation's right up here, and you guys can enjoy that. I am going to enjoy that as I do my rendering and uploading throughout the nights. That will be what I will be watching and enjoying immensely. Fantastic game, fantastic company, and I look forward to more from them. And I hear they're actually, they did well with uh, the release of this game. So there should be more coming from them. So I'm, I'm really excited. I believe it's Jeff Vogel. I don't know if he has anyone helping him on the project. But that's the main mind, the main person, maybe the only person behind the creation of all these games. Anyway, folks, until the very next First Look series or First Look video, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. And I will see you later. <laughs>